cannot come to lose. Yeah. In the land where you are, you have not been able to talk. Not that you cannot talk physically, but spiritually, you don't have a say. Is that making you an authority in the land? Yeah. The book of 1st Kings chapter 17 made me to understand. He said, Elijah the Jewish. He came out. What did he do? Thought. He said, There shall be no rain. And there shall be no dew. Until God said it upon the land. As he spoke, heaven back in. The Lord sets your tongue loose. You begin to rule the country from your house. This man was so powerful. The Lord gives you a libro soto the authority over the land to proclaim that this is what will stand in my own life. In the mighty name of Jesus. That woman in your husband's house that you see is significant and irrelevant. Light is shining on your path now. You become a celebrity. In that home, they will look at you and say, You have exalted our family level. Because we are not all over. In the name of Jesus. God is showing someone where you fit in in your life. He's showing it to you right now. Ma kunye de bobo soto ya. Likrebo shandali rosi kete ya. A child of God is not in a place without a purpose. Likrebo soto ya. Say show me where I feel it is to your life. and I'm from the United Kingdom. Okay, if you are going to describe this conference, what one word would you use to describe it? Life changing. Life changing. Yes. Good. And what's your advice to that woman that should be here but is not here? I want to say to them, you know what? Please make sure you get here next year. Start planning from now. Start, you know, be intentional 
about wanting to be here and i can really assure you your life will never be the same again praise god thank you for all the teachings i was really blessed by all of them god bless you thank you so much thank you pastor Ijoma. god bless you it's been a pleasure to be here it's a pleasure too yes. hello please tell me your name and the country you present my name is annalisa sancroft and i'm representing belize Wow. Cent from Central America. Central America. Yeah. How has your experience been in this conference? Life changing. Mm. It's it's not just another women's conference. Mm. It's a women's conference with a purpose. Mm. Mm. Praise God. So if you have one word to describe your experience, what would that be? Transformational. Mm -hmm. Because coming here I knew that it was a divine set up by the Lord mm -hmm. and I knew that the topic emerging into a new season was not just a generic topic mm -hmm. the topic was personal to me because of what specific. God has been doing for yeah. me so because of that I know it's the best word I can use to describe the experience is tra transitional. transitional so it's transitioning yeah. into that new season praise God so I heard you eat Amala <laughs> How was the experience eating pandedia, mamala, and the gusi oh, and all that? God. Listen, it's, it's, because, it's so funny because I've never been to the continent of Africa. Oh, really? And I've always said that I'll go up to the continent of Africa before I come to Europe. Okay. It's my first time on the continent of okay. Europe. But being here, I'm not. I'm in Europe, but I'm having my continent of Africa experience. Oh, that's so the beautiful. So food has completely. I wasn't expecting um, so much. I was expecting pasta and 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 and, and all of that. Yeah. But the food, nourishing, delicious. Praise God. Praise God. I mean, I love COVID. Yeah. I mean, this is so. <laughs> actually, went back for seconds. There was. That's good to know. Okay, if you have one advice to give that woman of God that was supposed to, that is supposed to be here but it's not here, mm -hmm. what would that be? Be sensitive to the leading of the Lord and wherever okay. He sends you, go. 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 Thank you so much. And I wish you a safe flight back to Belize. Thank you very much. God bless you. Hello, how are you? Tell Hi. us your name and the country you're representing. My name is Zinka. I'm representing here, Spain here. Uh-huh. Yeah, you speak here. Yes. Wow, awesome. So if you have one word to describe your day two experience, what would that be? Just use one word to describe the entire experience. Glorious. Glorious. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. And would you be inviting other women next year? See what you have experienced in this day too. Are you willing to invite other women to attend WIM 2023? Yes, I will. What's your advice for these women? My advice would be don't miss it. Mm. Don't, because I have experienced it once and I'm not going to ever miss it again. Hallelujah. Because it's been a glorious and wonderful experience. You know, it's a, it's a time with God that you can, that we actually need in this end time. You know, it is and it's a gro gracious and glorious moment that we should we should not never miss. miss. Hallelujah. So I pray that the Lord continue to empower us and help us so that we will not miss it again because it's so it's just so, it's more than what we can just explain. It just it, it's just I encourage everybody to 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 come. It's my first time to come and next year. And you came I with your children. Me. Yes, I come with so my So all baby. these all the nursing mothers have no excuse, right? No excuse. Because you came with two children, yes. a baby and a, a preschooler. Oh yes. my goodness. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Mama. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>